Hello and welcome again to findtodip.com. In this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to design a promotional flyer in Photoshop. So first of all, we have to create a new document by going to File menu and clicking New. I will set the width of this document to 1000 pixels and height to 1500 pixels. Click OK once you are done. Now I will create one more layer over here. Just go to layer menu, new and click layer. I will rename the layer to header and footer. I will now grab the rectangular marquee tool from the tool palette and I will make a selection like this over my canvas. Now next step you will have to take the gradient tool, just right click on the gradient tool and select the gradient tool. From the gradient bar, pick these colors, one side color to a bit dark gray and the right side color to much lighter gray and click OK once you are done. Now with the radial gradient, apply the gradient to your selected area. Here it is. Now we also apply the same steps to our photo area. We will grab the marquee tool, rectangular marquee tool from the tool palette and make a selection over the footer of our image. And we will apply the same gradient as we applied to our header. So here it is. Now next step is we have to apply some borders to our header and footer, some internal borders to our header and footer. So we will again grab the rectangular marquee tool and create a border by selecting some area like this on our header and footer layer. Now when I right click the gradient tool and select paint bucket tool, now I will click on the color palette to pick a darker color and fill the color with that. Also now I will copy that by pressing Ctrl C and paste it by pressing Ctrl V and drag this toward the footer. I will create some borders over here. So again select the rectangular marquee tool, create some borders, select the paint bucket tool and pick the color to a lighter some, lighter gray this time. Fill the area, again copy the area by pressing Ctrl C, paste by pressing Ctrl V and move using move tool to the footer as well. So here it is, our background is ready now. Now we will next open the image we are using in our tutorial. So I am using this flyer for Austin Martin DB9. So I will open the image using file menu and browsing the file, here it is. Now just Ctrl A to select all, Ctrl C to copy the image. Go back to your canvas, create a new layer and rename the layer to car. Click OK once you are done. Ctrl V to paste the image over car layer. Ctrl T to get a free transformation. To increase the image size to best fit to our canvas. Hit enter to apply the transformation. Adjust the image with your background layers. Here it is. Now we will add some background color to this area. So we will create first. First we will create a new layer over here and we will rename the layer to BG. Click OK once you are done. Now we will drag our background layer that is BG layer below every other layer. And now using pen bucket tool with some light grayish color, much lighter gray color. I will apply the color to my canvas. And I will reduce the opacity of this color to 60%. Here it is. Now I will, you can see there is some lines over here. So I will just Blur this area using Blur tool. 
so that there remain no difference between the car image and the background I will zoom in a bit by pressing Ctrl plus plus key hold your control and hit plus key to zoom in and hold Ctrl key pressed and minus minus key to zoom out so here it is you see it's much matched now now next step is we will we will open we will open up the logo we will paste it over here so we will go to file menu and open and we will open up the Lo Austin Martin logo just control A to select all and control C to copy close the image as we don't need this anymore we will create a new layer with a name of logo and I will now paste the logo over my logo layer by pressing control V control T to get a transformation and increase the size I will now drag the logo to best fit to my header so here it is I will now apply some drop shadows to my logo so just go to we will do, uh, do this by going to layer menu and layer styles we will apply some layer styles over there so just go to layer menu and select layer styles blending options and here I will check on I will mark check on drop shadow I will increase the opacity to 100% angle to 90 degree also I will increase the size to 250 pixels we will remain the spread to 0% and I will increase the distance by 44 pixels and you are done hit ok or click ok to apply these settings to your image oh, yeah. again we will paste again the logo for our footer area and we will after pressing we will use the logo over here just control V to paste the footer area logo here so here it is I will drag this to the footer area I will now copy these the logo layer styles by right clicking the logo layer and clicking copy layer style I will apply this to our footer logo right click on the footer logo that is layer 3 and click on paste layer style so it is the effects of header logos are also applied to the to footer logo now next step is we will add some borders over here for the content area so I will select the rectangular marquee tool from the tool palette and I will add a selection and I will mark some selection like this over here I will now using the paint bucket tool and with some dark grey color I will fill this area again I will draw a border over here again to the lower side we will continue in the second part of the tutorial